This is the SOXL one month overview reading for August 2022. It's currently August 1st, 2022, 10.44 p.m. That's Eastern time. Um, the overall theme and behavior, we're range bound here, or range is highlighted. It, we're likely range bound here. Um, there's a move higher through resistance that crosses this range bound uh, energy. There's a move higher through the resistance. We stay there briefly and then we break back down through that same price level. Overall looking like a bearish, like we have a bit of a bearish chart uh, for August. Likely August is lower than, we see lower price levels in August than we did in um, July and likely we'll see a higher high in uh, September. That's what I'm picking up on so far. now. Behavior on the high, we have a breaking down to and through a support level. The break, you know, we bounce around there and we break down through multiple support levels. But what's interesting about the indolence card is a lot of the time we fall from a, a it, we fall for the indolence card is like falling from a high that was like a really good opportunity and it didn't last long at all. And indolence is like the, the breaking down, like the missing of it almost. In a lot of cases, it's falling from a price level that won't be revisited within the time frame of the reading. Um, so being that it's in the high position, likely the high for the, for the month of August is only visited once. More, and even more likely, is if it is visited more than once, it's that we don't break through it. Um... Okay, behavior around the low. There's like a disappointment of some kind and a breaking down to and through a support level to meet a secondary support level and we bounce along sideways along that support level. Looks like it's probably a holding pattern around the low, something to do with um, a disappointment of some kind and there's a male leader highlighted, something to do with a male leader. It's either Congress or it's like a less less commonly like um, highlighted leader of some sort that's uh, involved in, in the month's low for SOXL. Um, and if you guys are wondering, it's a semiconductors ETF, FYI. Um, okay, so early in the month, we have um, a, a, a notable move on a, on a one month chart uh, on the first, it looks like um, there's one local low. Uh, so on a one-day ch chart for the first, uh, there'll be one prominent low that stands out. That's what I mean by local low. I'm gonna mark these while we go. First, so we have a high, a month's high correlation um, on the second. Looks like there's a notable drop either there's a notable drop out of we may have come out of a notable drop like I, I didn't look at the chart at all so July we may have may have may have had a sharp drop and if we didn't have a sharp drop um, like at in late July and we're just coming out of it on first if that's not the case then we're gonna have a sharp drop off of this crest here that appears around the second um, there's selling from overbought territory on RSI there's a swing trade opportunity around the third here where we have, it, it involves um, a rally that ends with a, a, a rally along a diagonal trend line that ends with a fast sudden move higher uh, and then a breakdown through that diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down. Um, Okay, around the, there's another crest and a prominent crest on the fourth, uh, a prominent crest on the fourth, fifth, I should say. Um, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm advised to buy protection. It's, I'm advised to buy protection uh, at the end of the third or on the fourth, uh, on the fourth at a, at a higher crest. But I think if I was going to buy protection, I'd probably do it on the second just to be safe. Um, and there's 
um, the completion of a rally on the fifth. It looks like there's a notable drop from this from this uh, crest here on the fourth. Um, and on the fifth, there's a notable rally that completes. Um, and we have a. It looks like there's a breakout. There's a prominent breakout through an important price level in, in the midst of that rally. But that rally completes on the fifth. We revisit, or excuse me, we uh, ris we visit an important support level on the uh, eighth. Um, and we rotate sideways along that support level on the eighth. Um, but that period of sideways rotation ends with a fast sudden move higher. We may have another crest here. Um, on the 9th, a male ruler is highlighted, a male ruler of nations is highlighted, and on the 10th, we have um, another high, it looks like. Um, a big move to the upside to reach the upper end of a range, or a crest. Um, and there's one local low on the 10th. By local low, again, guys, I mean on a one-day chart for the 10th, there's one prominent low that'll stand out, and... Um, it forms when there's a fast sudden move higher marking the end of a period of decline. Around the 11th we should see rather erratic behavior. Uh, back and forth through the same price level. Looks like we have a trough that forms on There's an important trough for our first month's low on the 12th. Um, an, an important support level. We attempt to establish uh, support, looks like, um, on, the, on the 12th, an important support level. And there's two trade opportunities on the 12th. Actually, it looks like one of them is on the 11th towards the end of the day. Um, there's uh, multiple fail attempts to break through key resistance. Um, and that, that, that's involved in one, one of the trades. And then on the 12th, it looks like we exit. We can exit that trade. Um, and it involves a uh, breakdown to and through a support level. We need a secondary support level. And then we rotate sideways along that support level. I am advised to buy protection um, at the end of the day on the 12th. And being that at the end of the day of the, uh, the 12th and the 12th all also being correlated to a month's low. Um, that's not that doesn't bode well for the rest of the month really it looks like um, the highs have been reached we're breaking down now and even if there's a prominent trough here on the 12th i'm still advised to buy protection at the end of the day because we'll see lower lo uh, lows coming in, in the later in the month <clears throat> all right on the 15th, around the 15th, we have a breakdown to and through a support level, and then we turn around and we rise back up and reuse that support level. Um, there's also a crossing with the crossed card uh, here, um, the second theme card, really. So a um, we'll move higher through a resistance level. We stay there briefly, and then we break that back down through that same price level shortly thereafter. The two local lows that appear on the 15th, one involves that move higher through resistance, followed by that breakdown back through the same price level. And the other one, uh, the other... It, the other low involves a rally um, that o that uh, offers an opportunity to open up a short position or protect against long position. So that doesn't bode well for the following days even. Um, it's very bearish energies, guys. On the 16th or around the 16th, we should see a big move to the upside and a full retracement of that big move to the upside all the way back down to where that move higher started. Um, there's one local high, so on a one day chart for the 16th, there would be a prominent reversal that stands out on a, at least a one day chart. Um, yeah, really on a one day chart, um, it'll be a prominent reversal. And there's one swing trade opportunity on the 16th as well that involves um, the end of a rally marked by a fast sudden move higher uh, and then a breakdown through a diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down. On the 17th, or around the 17th, I should say, there is a big move higher, reaching for a distant resistant le uh, resistance level. Two local lows on the 17th, uh, one that involves a rally offering an opportunity to open up a short position or protect against long positions, and the other low involves a breakout, so a breakout out of the low. Around the 18th, an, an important resistance level is highlighted. We attempt to break it, fail, and we decline through an important support level. Um, however, on the 19th, it looks like we have a, a move higher. Usually the sun card is the beginning of a rally. 
Um, I don't think in this case, really, it's the beginning of a rally. Maybe there's like a move higher there around the 19th that stands out on a, on a one month chart. But we have a decline that really starts in, in the midst of that move higher. There's a decline that starts and takes us to a mo another month's low here um, on the uh, 22nd or around the 22nd, most likely on the 22nd here. Mm, 22nd or the 24th maybe, somewhere around there. Yeah, probably what we see is multiple false bottoms or a false bottom here on the 24th. Um, I'm advised to be cautious. So we go from a, a notable decline on the 22nd or around the 22nd through multiple support levels. Um, so you need a trough, a prominent trough or a prominent low, low on the 22nd. No barking. No barking, Hermes. I'm recording. Um, and then on the 23rd, we have sideways, or around the 23rd, we have sideways fluctuations with a bullish trend that precedes a decline. Um, there's two local lows there. One of those local lows offers an opportunity to open up a short position or protect against long positions. I'm advised to be cautious on the 24th. Multiple false tops or multiple false bottoms. I'm thinking multiple false bottoms probably or some sort of fake out. Maybe, um, there's very likely a, a prominent trough or a low here on the 24th as well. Um, we revisit on the 25th or around the 25th, we revisit um, a past a support level that was a recent past opportunity. Um, when we have a sharp dip within a period of sideways rotation. Um, there's two local highs on the 25th chart. One will stand out as a prominent reversal. Um, the other one will, um, there'll be a sharp decline that'll stand out on a one day chart out of that local high. Um, and then there's a swing trade opportunity when we're moving sideways along a support level um, with equal amounts of bulls and bears uh, inflow and outflow. Around the 26th or into the end of the week, um, we should see a fast, sudden move higher um, and successfully turning resistance into new support. Um, on the 20, uh, 29th, however, we have another month's low or trough, a prominent trough, most likely another month's low here. Um, um, there's sideways fluctuations with a bearish trend that precedes an, uh, a rally here on, around the 29th. Um, and there's one swing trade opportunity that, that takes place when we uh, break, we, we drop to and through a support level to meet a secondary support, and then we move along that support level sideways, rotating. Um, on the 30th, we have a sideways S formation that forms between a horizontal resistance and support. Um, two local lows on the one day chart for the 30th. Hey, come on, will you behave? Um, one of those local lows involves a move higher through resistance and then we stayed above that resistance briefly before breaking back down through that same price level. The other local low involves a rally higher, higher that, um, that offers an opportunity to open up a short position or protect against long positions and we have a correlation here where we'll be moving sideways along some sort of support level as correlated to, excuse me, um, we'll have we have a correlation to a move higher through resistance all the way break down through that same price level um, as uh, highlighted here uh, cross correlated here to the crossing card um, on the 31st an opportunity in the midst so we end the month um, in a, a decline with an opportunity to open up a long position in the midst of this decline there's one swing trade opportunity that involves a rally higher along a diagonal trend line that ends with a fast sudden move higher and then a breakdown through that diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down there's one local high that that will stand out on a one-day chart as a prominent reversal for the 31st um, and the and there's a range that's highlighted here on the 31st um, a range is highlighted, so likely the bottom end of a range. Um, we also see range being highlighted on the 25th and the 26th. Uh, range is highlighted on the 16th. Yep. Um, and then a sneak preview card for the following month is that we have uh, the halting of a bullish trend marked by a significant decline through an important support level. Um, and that's off of what appears to be a higher high um, then we had either a higher, it's definitely a higher uh, price level than these lows. It could very well be a higher or the same price level as like the, these early highs here in August. But we see another high here 
um, in September, and there's a sharp decline, a halt of a bullish trend marked by a sharp decline through an important support level out of that high. Um, that's SOXL, guys, for August 2022. You want to see more semiconductors, guys? Let me know by hitting that like button. Um, share this with people you think it'll help. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And guys, check out our Kickstarter. Uh, it, it's an astrologic, financial astrological charting application that we've been building. It's kick-ass. It's like the solar fire of, uh, of financial charting. Check it out on our, our website, esometa.com. That's E-S-O-M-E-T-A, esometa.com. You can also find a link somewhere on our website, tarotfortraders.com. And thanks for watching, guys. When you make that money from this reading, remember, take a little bit of that and pay it forward. Keep that flow going. Take a little bit of that and pay it back. Get that gratitude paying back and keeping that source coming into you, right? And then take the rest of it. Do what you need to do with it. Just do it out of love and the universe will return in all directions tenfold to you. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do another one.